History was made Monday at the 128th Boston Marathon. The four champions recognized for their accomplishments Tuesday at the Fairmont Copley, just feet away from where they crossed the finish line. I feel so inspired to become defending champion in Boston. And I was waiting that moment to cross the finish line. I feel so honored. My family was there watching. Kenya's Helen O'Beary is the sixth woman to win back-to-back -back titles, coming in yesterday with a time of 2.22.37. She won her first marathon last year in Boston as she was transitioning from a middle to a long-distance runner. On the men's side, Ethiopia's Sisai Lemma crossed the finish line at 2.06.17, the 10th fastest time in race history. Lemma ran alone out in front for much of the race, outpacing the other elite men's runners. Just um, Boston Marathon uh, course is very challenging me uh, yesterday, uh, but uh, I won and uh, I'm happy. Great Britain's Eden Rainbow Cooper topped the women's wheelchair division with a time of 135.11, her first Boston victory at just 22 years old. Switzerland's Marcel Hoog won his seventh marathon and despite crashing in Newton, broke the men's wheelchair course record for the second time at 115.33. News 9 caught up with Rainbow Cooper and Hoog one-on-one, -on -one, who are now gearing up to tackle another marathon in London on Sunday. Uh, unfortunately, my body feels still uh, a little bit from the, from the crash. Um, my muscles still hurts, but I'm really looking forward that it will be uh, better soon, uh, so I'll be ready for Sunday's uh, uh, London Marathon again. I just feel over the moon. Um, I really can't comprehend it. Uh, to, I mean, to come in and do marathons at such a young age is such a privilege to travel around the world, but to come and win one, it's, it's just beyond belief. Officials also took a moment to recognize the dedicated team of volunteers and the spectators who stayed to watch the final finishers. In Boston, Hannah Cotter, WMUR News 9.